Okay, you guys. Um, today's video is going to be just a little tough for me. Because I can't believe that this day... This day... Bugs, uh, Taquanda Taylor here, and welcome back to my channel. And no, today is not the end of this journey. Like, no, it's not the end. It's not happening. I am not going anywhere. I will continue to be here every Sunday for as long as you want me to be. So, let's get started, you guys. Um, the reason for the title actually is because we are going to actually be talking about the end of our story. Now we, last week we did our characters, so we, you know, our characters, we know um, what story we're writing, we have all of that great stuff. Um, and now we are going to write the end of our story. It can either be the um, final chapter of the book, what you want to happen in the final chapter, or that big moment at the end that everything in the book is going to lead up to. Um, the reason why we are writing the end of the chapter right now is there's something that I learned when I was doing my first book. When I was writing my first book, as I was writing it, there was a lot of thought on how is this going to end and like how is this book going to end? Where where am I taking this book to? Um, and then you get kind of stumbled once you get through all of the, you know, the the anticlimactic stuff and you know as you're telling the story and then you kind of don't know what note to leave the story on. My second book which is titled One Shot Two Shots um the title has everything to do with the end of the book. Well actually the title is the title of a song. So I actually got the title of my book from a song which um I do with a lot of my stories I get the title from songs um but I needed to decide where I was going to fit the whole premise of the title of the book at so it could have either started out with something that had to do with the title uh it could have fit in the middle or it could have been at the end and i wanted it to be at the end um so what i did was i wrote the final chapter of the book everything that happens right at the end that you know where the title fits in so you know people are probably like well why'd you title your book one shot two shots it's for a reason, you guys. Um, so all of that happens at the end of that book. And then what I had was now I had where this book was going to end. And now all I had to do was structure the rest of the book to lead up to that point. How did the characters end up there? Um, why did the characters end up there? You know, just little things. And everything had to get them to that point of the final chapter. Everything that came out, all of the secrets that was revealed at the end, um, you know, where the title comes into, into play, you know, um, maybe a little romance or something. Everything had to lead up to what happened at the end of the chapter. I'm not going to tell you guys what happened because then you're not going to want to read the book to find out what happens. So, but yeah, everything happens at, um, you know, I can structure it, whether you're a pantser or a plotter. This is a really good idea because if you are a pantser and you are the type of person who flies by the seat of your pants, um, then you can have your ending and then all you have to do is just write everything that leads up to it. You know how it's going to end. You just have to make sure everything leads up to that. If you are a plotter, you have your ending. Now you just structure your book, you, you know, your, do your outline um, so that everything, you hit these key points so that it leads up to um, what happens at the end of the book. And like I said, it's very good to do it. So, you know, if you're the type of person that as you're writing, you probably get stuck on how in the heck is this book going to end? Um, yeah, so you already know your ending and you're not stuck and you're not, you know, you, you don't hit that moment where the writer's block sets in and you have no idea how you're going to end the book. You don't know if it's going to end on a high note, a low note, um, if it's going to be a climactic ending, you know, it's already taken care of. All you have to do is just structure the rest of the book to suit that ending. 
So that's um pretty much it, you guys. It's just a really quick um video. Uh, we're writing the end of our story. Um, I hope you guys are excited about this because that just puts us one step closer to finishing this book. Um, so if you guys have any questions for me, please leave a comment below. If maybe there was something you wanted to add or um, do you like the idea of writing the end of your story first or is there some reason why you would not want to do that? Please just leave a comment below. Let me know every all of your thoughts and I love reading your comments as I said. Um, if you are not subscribed to this video, please subscribe and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And again, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I will leave the link to my website below so you guys can stop by and check out my website. Um, you can stop um, by my uh, page to read my um, read about my first book, read a sample, purchase my first book. I am selling signed copies of my first book um, through my website. You can also read um, a sample of my second book on there before it is um, published. So, um, again, you guys, thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Okay, you guys, today's video is going to be just a little tough for me.